Right, this is so weird. I'm just showing you my foot. Hello. Excuse me. Did you see that? <laughs> it's actually some sort of magic. Fully, I look, I was gonna say I look like I've just woken up, but I really have just this minute woken up. So it's Sunday morning. I thought we could start the vlog with a little like fresh faced makeup routine. It's not really makeup. Well, I guess it's makeup. I honestly think over the past few months I have properly perfected my like no makeup kind of glowy skin makeup situation. So I thought I could show you to start the vlog, which might be fun also thank you so much for just being so kind and understanding of my little low mood that was last week's vlog it's just been a really hard couple of weeks with it but i always just try and think like if this is what i feel imagine what creators with millions of followers and subscribers and, and do what i do but on like such a massive scale um must be receiving like it must just be unbearable anyway let me show you what i've been doing with my face recently as you can see i am pretty mm, i'm a bit spotty at the moment there's no reason just spotty um that was my spf 50 this is a really really nice one as you can see it sunk into my skin so quickly and it's 50 and normally with SPFs that are that high it takes like they're normally quite greasy and quite heavy and it takes a while for them to sink in that one doesn't the next thing I'm going to use is this Tanologist day glow hyaluronic radiance serum to be honest I've been using this without really knowing what it is but it's got self tan in it I think it's quite a small amount because I never like wake up the next day very brown or orange um and it's just you can see it in the like formula it's very glowy it looks a little bit like what i was talking about last week they both have really similar similar like glowy formulas so i just put like a couple of drops on my hand and like let me see if i can show you what this looks like on my hand it's just got some lovely reflective glowiness to it and it's a hyaluronic acid so like it should keep your face moisturized all day and um it's got a little bit of self tan in it so like all the glowiness in one but i'm gonna get on with my face now and i will leave every single product that i use in order that i use them in the description box People act. People act. she's back from the dead the best thing about this makeup is that you don't feel it this um light shifting light shifter dewing tint is literally that it's just like a tint so it feels like a moisturizer and like you know when you wear foundation and you're really conscious of like putting like clothes on and like making sure your jacket doesn't touch your makeup this face like i honestly forget i have makeup on nothing comes off it's just like a really nice feeling to have when you're wearing makeup which is just like fresh and aliveness 
don't know if you can tell, but I bit my lip yesterday. <laughs> so it's actually quite painful to smile. So I'm probably a little bit lopsided, just in case you notice that. FYI, I bit my lip. Right, I'm going to put my eyeballs in. Oh my god, I did a massive order of contact lenses last week. Because I thought I had a spare box in the drawer. Didn't have any. I had to go for a run with my actual glasses on. And oh my god, it hurts so much. Because like the frames, like almost... When you're jogging, they like push into your nose. I don't know if that's just me. Anyway... I did a big order of contact lenses the other day. £104 I spent on lenses. I will 100% get laser, laser eye surgery when I, my eyes are ready to. I am squeamish as anything and I know that is going to be the most horrific procedure. But it will be worth it for sight without contact lenses. And £104 on lenses. I mean, hopefully they'll last me a couple of months, but... It's a lot of money, isn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna put these in and then me and B are going to go for a nice Sunday walk, get a coffee, maybe a pastry or something nice. Yeah, I'll take you with us, so I'll see you in a bit. That crep was unreal. They have loads of like food trucks and like coffee vans at Hove Park now, which is a park near where we live. <laughs> and it's become our new little Sunday spot to go and like try all the different food vans. And today we obviously had a crep and a coffee and a Nutella and banana crep. I don't think you can beat it. It's on par with lemon and sugar. Those two are the top crepes in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, we have just got home and I am actually going to, I'm actually going to fake tan. I don't know if you can see it over there. As usual, I am working with Tanologist. I feel so fancy saying that in a YouTube video, like <laughs> today I'm working with, like it makes me feel like a legitimate YouTuber who knows what they're doing. But yes, I'm gonna fake tan with you guys. And to be honest, I'm not showing you any new product, anything new or groundbreaking anything different to what I usually show you because I just use the same products constantly from Tanologist. If I want a full tan, I use their tanning mousse. If I want a top up, I use their tanning water. And those products for me are the absolute, like that is all I need. So as usual, like I said, tanning mousse, got a fresh new tanning mitt, which is always a treat. I'm just gonna crack on and tan to be honest. I always use medium, um, I find that medium, sorry, can you hear my washing machine? Yes, you can. <laughs> I find medium is more than enough colour for me. Um, I've never actually tried their dark, but this is plenty dark enough. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get tanning. This is going to be a very risky shot, <laughs> but obviously I cannot tan with my bra on. There's nothing reflective. We should be okay. If you've seen me talking about tanologists before, God, this feels like really like I shouldn't be doing it, but it's fine. <laughs> you will know that obviously they are the only tanning brand I use. I just find it's always, always been the most consistently even tan I've ever had. That feels a little bit safer. <laughs> Honestly, I just do not get streaks. And I have recommended this to every single person that I know who has ever talked about tanning. I always find the main thing that people 
want from tan or don't like about tan is the smell which i completely get this smells it has the tiniest hint i want to say of like coconut maybe it's not coconut but it's like the tiniest hint of like a fresh smelling smell but there is no biscuit smell whatsoever and also as you can see it's clear it doesn't transfer so after this i can go and sit on my white sofa my sofa will not be orange tomorrow like seriously i know that sounds a bit too good to be true genuinely that is the case i've also found that this one is just so good for your skin it genuinely moisturizes and you know you get tiger bread skin um when you tan i didn't realize but that's basically because your skin is drying and that's why it goes into those like tigery ready kind of patterns i have never had a tiger bread tan with this because it genuinely i know it says it on the bottle but it genuinely moisturizes your skin I could actually go on about them for quite a long time, but I won't bore you with it. I will just say the products that I've used will be in the description. Uh, and today that is literally just um, the medium tanning mousse. I don't need anything else other than that. And the mitt and this little beauty, which I will show you how it works now, although I'm sure you've seen me use it before. Right, this is so weird. I'm just showing you my foot. <laughs> so this little beauty, I use it for my wrists and my feet. I just do a tiny little pump on it and then I rub this into my ankle and my toes and I find this is the only way or this is the only tool I've ever used that actually creates an even tan around the awkward spots like your ankle and your toes and then for hands I just do a very similar tiny little pump start on the wrist and make sure you get like all the way around it and then I make sure I really get into like the grooves of your wrist and then I go up in between the fingers and I know that might feel like it's going to sit there and be brown in between your fingers but trust me it doesn't. Then I do the actual fingers, just the top of my hand and then I will show you um, in tomorrow's vlog obviously but when I wake up in the morning I will show you how beautiful and even my tan is. Have you ever seen fake tanned hands that are that perfect? And that is a promise. <laughs> right that is me all lovely and tanned um like i said i'll leave the products in the description but i will come back to you tomorrow and i can actually show you how this has come out so you can get a proper idea of what like the medium shade looks like but for now i'm gonna make some lunch it is sunday so i was thinking about doing a baking sunday but oh let me come talk to you properly i was thinking what i could make or what i would want to make today but I think I've decided that I don't want to do it, which is something I'm really trying to do is if I don't want to, and if like the really like, if like the urge to bake and like be creative with food isn't there, I don't want to push myself to do it because often I can find that if I push myself too hard with like activities around foods, foods itself, eating, all things food. If I push myself too hard when I'm not ready for the challenge, it doesn't end well um so as much as i love baking sundays they are one of my favorite times of the week if i'm not in the mood to do it i am trying to be really like kind to myself and just allow that to be the case um and put that like energy and excitement into next week's bake so i do feel quite bad so a lot of the time because i love that people love it so much and it's so like lovely to to get messages like oh when is it but then i feel bad because i'm like oh i'm really sorry i'm not doing it today um but anyway just letting you know no baking sunday this week but i reckon next week we will do something very eastery and very festive because it's nearly easter um by the way that makeup i did this morning it is really nice isn't it and that glowing um hyaluronic acid serumy thing is also from tanologist it really like it's lovely i just love all those products i feel like i've really like got comfortable with this as my like day-to-day -day makeup look i don't actually know what i will do when it comes to like nighttime activities and i have to learn how to do like a full face again i'm gonna go and make lunch i will catch you a little bit later this evening and if you have any ideas for a festive baking sunday please start letting me know because i want it to be like epic like a big 
Easter cake. Oh my god, very quickly before I ramble anymore, I'm going to insert a picture right here of the Easter cake I made last year. And it was so fun. It made me feel like a little kid again decorating this cake. So anything along those lines, let me know. It's a little bit later now and I've just popped on. I don't know if you can tell. A little bit more makeup. Literally just like an extra coat of mascara and then some lip gloss. Um, because I have something really exciting to shoot which is this little beauty. So by the time, no, this is a secret right now, but by the time this goes up, these will all be available. Um, this is one of Lounge Underwear's new, um, newest pieces, and it is this beautiful bodysuit. Oh my God, isn't that stunning? They are releasing a whole collection of all bodysuits. I think there's like six. I'm not sure. This isn't sponsored, by the way, but I'm shooting this for a sponsored post on Instagram. Excuse the bed, by the way. It is bed sheet changing day. But I thought we could sort of shoot this together. I just wanted to show you because hello, it is so beautiful. And I just, mm, I'm really excited about wearing this. So I think I know what I'm going to do shoot wise. Just keep it super, super simple and literally take a photo against this white wall here. I feel like when the underwear is that like intricate you don't really like need much else going on but anyway let's try this on <sighs> so beautiful look right let me see if i can show you properly look how beautiful this is honestly the details i mean as you can tell it's pretty mesh it's pretty see-through look at the details on the bra oh my god excuse me this is absolutely stunning I'm gonna get my pictures of it now. These photos aren't going that well. I'm not getting any that I like, which is so fine. It happens all the time. It just means I'll probably try again tomorrow. Maybe it's the light. Maybe I don't really love my makeup that much. Sometimes you just don't get photos that you love and that's all right. So I think I will take this off for now. Um, I actually still have uh, my discount code for lounge. I think it just like applies all the time. It's not an affiliate, which means I don't make money from it. Um, I do work with them sometimes on Instagram, but the code, which is Nelly10, will still get you 10% off like the whole site. I think maybe it's just the non-sale items. I don't know, it's worth always throwing in an Ellie 10 if you're checking out on lounge anyway, just in case. But I will, I'll leave that code and I'll also leave this beautiful bodysuit in the description as well. And also you can have a look at the other ones that they've just released, because I'm lucky enough to get to see the preview of them. Trust me, it was so difficult to choose just one to shoot. They are so beautiful. Anyway, it is about four o'clock and I just want to finish off my housework tonight. As you can see, I'm halfway through um, bed sheet change day. <laughs> I think I'm gonna blitz the whole flat, hoover, clean the kitchen. It's quite sad that that's what I just wanna do on a Sunday afternoon, but it's literally all I wanna do. So I'm gonna get on with that. Probably not in this bodysuit, although maybe. Um, I'll catch you tomorrow. big reveal thing but I thought I'd rather just actually talk you like be with you through it as we go um rather than like tell you a big secret at the end I just honestly rather be able to talk to you about this as it happens um so I am working with AIM studio to release a swimwear collection <laughs> so excited um, we've actually been talking about this for years so it's actually been a secret for quite a long time but 
now is finally the time um so if you don't know much about aim studio i'm just gonna leave their website in the description they are a sustainable ethically run fashion brand um it's run by ali who just cares so unbelievably much about what she does um and it's her business and yeah they're based in lewis and they have a small team of incredible people who make all the clothes from incredible sustainable fabrics and i was just putting on my instagram story like a little bit more information about it and i was actually asking questions on polls as much as this is my collection i want everyone to like it there's no point in making it if people don't like it so i was just asking a bunch of polls about price point and things like that um so yeah i'm doing this for my collection which is just like dream shit do you know what Actually, I'm going to show you something. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so this is um, my vision board. And I've added, been adding to it for like a year. Like it's an ongoing project. And I won't show you it all because, you know, personal. But I am going to show you the bottom right hand corner. And I put this on here. Well, when I first made this, so at least a year ago. By the way, my vision board, I know everyone uses theirs differently, but mine is basically dreams and wishes that I want to happen and that I envision happening one day. It's a picture of my mum and my dog. So, as you can see down here, yes, that is Savage Fenty, and yes, that is some YouTube plaques, because, you know, goals. But AYM Studio, or AIM Studio, have been on there for a long old time, so... I can't believe it's happening now. Anyway, you might have seen us fitting a few samples and I have got them all home with me. They're all in here in Ali's uh, Specsaver bag because that's what was in the office. Um, we have been doing samples and designs for so many months, but so far all our fitting meetings have been on Zoom and it actually works weirdly well, like me and Ali on zoom both trying on the garments to see how they fit on both of us and making adjustments and mainly design adjustments from there so this is the first time i've seen our second or third round of samples there's still a few adjustments i can't believe how much like time basically and skill like time and skill that goes into making a bikini um things that I would never have thought of, Ali spots, and she spots the tiniest fit details. And I've tried things on and been like, this is amazing, this is perfect. And she's gone, no, there's a crease there, that seam doesn't look right, that doesn't sit perfect. And like the level of perfectionism is amazing because it just, well, that's why everything on her website is just so perfect. Um, but yeah, the process of like getting to this stage, even just like this stage, which isn't entirely finished, is crazy um so i sneak sneak peeked snucked peek sneaked peek i don't know how you say that um this bikini on my instagram stories so as much as i want to show you everything because i am just over excited i'm going to show you this bikini today because this one is finished it's done it's like final edits and final stages are completely finished and this is what this bikini is going to look like so let me go and try this on for you <laughs> so this is it this is one of the more fuller briefs because I'm, de oh, this is such an awkward angle. I'm definitely one for like a teeny weeny bikini. I like swimsuits and if I wear bikinis, I like them to be quite minimal coverage. Um, I don't know, it just tends to be what I naturally go for, but this one is a fuller brief, but it's just that little bit more coverage than a teeny weeny bikini would have. And the shape is just so beautiful. And as you can see, it's got the most beautiful ruched detail there and a lovely bow so you can tighten this top like as much as you want so with this bra design you can see it's really ruched in the middle what that means is that it's perfect for like bigger and smaller boobs obviously there's not one size in this there's a whole range of sizes <laughs> but it means you can wear it sort of like if you have a smaller boob it will fit perfectly to a smaller boob but because of this ruching the fabric stretches out so if your boob would fill that much space then it would fill that much space so you can sort of wear it slightly differently. I prefer it a little bit more minimal because that's just me. But I think the bow detail at the back is just so elegant, isn't it? Like it's so timeless. 
just trying to find the best angle for you. I'm gonna go to my bedroom because the light is much better in there. There we go, we can see it a bit better now. So the ruched detail here matches perfectly the ruched detail here. So they're the exact same like fabric and design. But these are all gonna be mix and match. So if you like one bikini top with a different bikini bottom, they're, they're all designed to be, oh my knee. Did you hear that click? <laughs> So I just went down an inch because my knee just popped. They are all designed to be wearable with each other. They're basically just designed to be as wearable and as adjustable as possible. Same with this bow, like you can tie that as tight or as loose as you want. But that is all coming out very, very soon. I was just putting this on in the living room and I dropped the top and it landed on the AYM bit of my mood board. And I was like, God, it's just, that's just so special, isn't it? So that is just incredibly, incredibly exciting. Um, I need to now stop myself. Now I've got the samples. I need to stop myself from doing more sneak peeks and just showing everyone the whole collection. I think there needs to be a little bit of surprise when it comes to, when it comes to the release date. Oh, and I didn't show you my tan. Well, I did. You know, I said I'd show you a tan update. Look how beautiful this is. You see how even and beautiful and brown I am? And it's not too brown, it's just like a glow, but can you see one streak? And also, look at the hands and wrists. Have you ever seen fake tanned hands that are that perfect? I'm telling you, it's actually some sort of magic. Either the formula or that special brush. I'm not sure which one, but they both work very well. Anyway, I have a feeling I've done a little bit too much rambling in this, in this vlog, so... Sorry about that. I hope you can tell that I am feeling much better than I was and yeah, just feeling better basically. So I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I will catch you very soon with another one and yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.